Good evening, I'm Lena Hassanel. Welcome to BizWorld. Malaysia's inflation moderated to 1.8% in October 2023, representing its lowest level since April 2021 amid lower price increases in food and non-alcoholic beverages. The increase in the Consumer Price Index CPI to 130.9 from 128.6 in the same month last year was lower than the 1.9% median forecast by a Reuters poll of economists. The statistics department in a statement said inflation in Malaysia was lower than inflation in the Philippines, which was at 4.9% Vietnam and Indonesia. Apart from food and non-alcoholic beverages, other groups that contributed to the lower increase in Malaysia's inflation included the alcoholic beverages and tobacco group, clothing and footwear and housing, water, electricity, gas and other fields. Meanwhile, Bank Nagara is expected to keep borrowing costs steady even up to 2025, as price pressures diminish and economic growth stays resilient. According to a Bloomberg survey, the central bank will maintain the overnight policy rate OPR at 3% for at least the rest of next year, extending a rate pause that started in July 2023. Previously, Prime Minister Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim said he does not see the need to raise the interest rates to shore up the ringgit. BNM Governor has also reiterated that the central bank is committed to ensure that the ringgit moves in, in an orderly manner. In the meantime, Malaysia is poised for a more robust economic outlook in the near future, as indicated by its leading index, LI. According to the Department of Statistics, Dawson, this after the figure improved to 109.3 points in September, compared to negative 0.5% the previous month. It also anticipated a moderate economic growth, underpinned by resilient local demand, despite currency challenges and the global economic slowdown. The Bursa Malaysia Industrial Index and number of housing units approved also contributed positively to the index. Meanwhile, declines were observed in imported goods, particularly in the imports of other basic precious metals and real imports of semiconductors. Brent crude futures edged down on Friday, extending losses from the previous session, as traders speculated on whether OPEC Plus would come to an agreement on further production cuts. Brent crude futures inched down by 0.07 percent to 81 U.S. dollar after settling down 0.7 percent in the previous session. U.S. West Texas intermediate crude, on the other hand, slid 0.86 percent to 76 U.S. dollar. Both contracts are on track to mark their first weekly rise, supported by expectations that OPEC Plus, led by Saudi Arabia, could reduce supply to balance the markets into 2024. And that's all the time we have for Bizworld. I'm Nana Hassanel. Thank you for investing your time with us.